Now look at the function f x is uh, equals x squared defined on 0, 1, and we try to estimate the surface area enclosed by the graph and the lines y equals 0, x equals 0, and x equals 1. And we're going to use the right end points for this as an estimate. So what we do is we suppose we subdivide our interval 0, 1 in n equal pieces. Yeah, then the width is delta x, and delta x equals 1 over n. Yeah, in this case, it, we have 1 over 5, since we have 5 intervals. And uh, we're going to pick in each of the intervals, like here, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, we're going to pick the right end point. Yeah, so here we have the 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth interval, so we have x4 star is the selection from 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So the ith right endpoint is then given by i times the length of an interval, so i times delta x or i divided by n. So, as an estimate for the surface area that we try to define, we just add up all the surfaces uh, enclosed by the surface area that we indicate here in red. Yeah, so this is no more than the sum for i equals 1 to n of xi star squared, because here we have the quadratic function, times delta x equals the sum of i equals n to n, i to 1 to n, over xi star is i divided by n squared times 1 over n. So we have a constant under the sum 1 over n to the power 3, which we can take out, and now we are left with the sum of the first quadratic natural numbers. We are the n first quadratic natural numbers. So we get, as we know the formula, we can add them up. And this requires a proof by induction. We may show that the sum of the first n squared natural numbers equals n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So we have several terms here. So we see that 1n in the numerator and denominator cancels, so we are left with n plus 1 divided by n, and 2n plus 1 divided by n times 1 6. Well, if we choose n very large, or let, let n go to infinity, then we see that n plus 1 divided by n converges to 1, and 2n plus 1 divided by n converges to 2, so we get as a result that the product converges to 1 times 2 times 1 over 6 equals 1 over 3. Yeah, so what was important here is that the sum of the n first squares, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared, etc., plus n squared, that we know the formula. Yeah, 1 over 6 times n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1. If we, if you believe in this formula, well, which you can actually prove using induction, a proof by induction, then we see that the right, a uh, 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 right endpoint estimates converge to some number, and this number will be called the surface area enclosed by the graph F.